Okay, so this is the uh, 3D Pythagoras cheat sheet. Uh, now the whole idea behind this is you'll be able to print this off if you visit the link below from my website. Use it as a resource as part of your uh, revision, or you could have a go at uh, using this as a blueprint and having a go at recreating it for yourself. The whole idea is I'm just going to give you a couple of pointers when you're dealing with 3D Pythagoras. Okay, now uh, in this particular case I've used an existing question and there are other videos in the playlist that will give you this question and a couple of other examples as well. The reason I've used this question is frankly because my uh, my sketching ability is pretty poor so I thought I would use this. Okay so as the name implies the important thing is you need to remember the formula for Pythagoras which is a squared equals b squared plus c squared and then effectively with most of these questions you're working in two areas because you appreciate that with this question we're being asked to work out p q okay well that's p and that's q and we can get that from the diagram there okay we also know the height well that's okay we know this is 12 because it gives us that the difficulty with this is we need to know this length which is across the diagonal of the bottom uh, rectangle of this particular box. Um, so to get that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call that A, just because it's a little easier for me, that I need to work out AQ. So I'm starting with, in this particular case, what I know, and then I'm going to try to find a way of getting all the information I need in order to complete the question, which is to use Pythagoras to work out PQ. OK, so to get AQ in this particular case, um, I've got a tr another triangle here. Now, if I just draw that out, and it's very typical of these sorts of questions, you'll find then that you've got a Q, which this dimension is exactly the same as this dimension, but in this box we've got this here and this here. So let's call that X. So X to Q will be 3 and X to A will be, that's X there, and X to A will be 4. And that will allow you then to use Pythagoras again, and typically you have to use him twice with these sorts of questions, and then you should be able to calculate the length. Now, if you want to see this actual question, there's only a limited amount of questions on 3D Pythagoras from the uh, practice questions that you'll see on the website, and the link is below, and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.